answer from Emma, which is showing for every vaccine the kind of tests that were done. So in the case of, in the case of Moderna, for example, you provided data showing that you tested these vaccines since 2017, 2018, 2019. So how were you able to test these vaccines? Back then, when we found out about this virus in December of 2019. Second question, the contracts. You mentioned here that there are some secrets or some confidential information in these contracts that should protect your interests. Now the question that I address to you, what about the interests of us and the interests of the European citizens? Because this is how some of the pages from the contract between Moderna and the European Commission is showing. So I'm asking you, do you think this is fair to all of us? To talk about these vaccines, to talk about boosters, to talk about medical products, when we don't know the clauses of these contracts. So the direct question to you, Mr. Bancel, is when are you going to fully publish the contracts that you had both with the European Commission and with the member states of the European Union? Another question, the issue of liabilities. You were asked by our colleague here about the liabilities and you avoided to answer this question. So my question to you is, why are you pushing the liabilities on the states and on the people who receive these vaccines and might have, and I say might have, adverse effects while you get all the profits? Nevertheless, the, bi the bivalent boosters. This is the last question. Yeah, but you, already you just stated here that these boosters were requested by the U.S. government who also approved the boosters without trials on humans. So I'm asking you, do you think this is fair? Do you think we can go and ask the European citizens to be vaccinated Mr. with some medical products that were not properly tested or not at all tested in humans? Thank you. Mr. Teres, next time I'll deduct 40 seconds from your speaking time. This is an important issue. With all due respect, it is, it's an important it issue, is, and the reason why they are here is to answer questions. Yes. And I see that they are all avoiding answering concrete questions from my colleagues. Yeah, but it's also respectful for well, your colleagues. Well, they have to be...